Okay, so I finally got this 24 volt um, taco repaired. It's now 12 and it's running on house power. It's just you can imagine it's it's a mine F. Um, we've got 24 volts up here and we've got 12. And so the port engine is the alternator's 24 volt to do the um, the bank for the for the various bits and pieces. The motor itself is 12 volt start and 12 volt instruments. But up here, because the AC signal was coming from the 24 volt alternator, they decided to run all the wiring, and fair enough, the 28 volts and its ground, which is off ground, so it's got a uh, B plus and a B negative alternator. I just wasn't going to go through, and a plus, it had blown up. The video had absolutely smoked it. Somewhere, but it's 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 it went up almost in flames. So I used this one for years, just a single tack with a system very much like this on off, and I'd go from port to starboard motor. Nothing unusual. That's how um, race boats were just two engines used to do it back in the back in the day. And uh, just with one tack and two auxiliary tacks either side just to see if the engines were going and then fine tune it for racing uh, out offshore um, about six seven grand just to make sure the motors were spot on so um, if anything was needed they could just touch up the props but there, there it is so um, I've decided to power it up on house power it gives me a common common and um, so, yeah, turn off the house power and still keeps going. <laughs> it's still going. All right, what's going on? Come on, die! I won't stop. Where's this getting its power from? It's weird. Okay, look, here's the here's the starboard engine. No, it's frozen. Okay. Okay. See? Port engine. Anyway, got a bit of tuning and mucking around to do, but anyway, that's it. Amongst many other things, um, we're sort of pursuing and just getting along. Yes. Yeah. So that's it. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> See you next headache next time. Yes, we'll be. We'll be this engine, I don't want to hex it, but this engine on the starboard side is an absolute gem. Um, anyway, oldie worldy, 1950s, we'll finish it. And